In this video, we will use PubMed to search for a PICO question. The case under consideration is this. The main concepts of this PICO question are infants, MMR vaccine, and causing autism. There is no comparison in this question, so we would be searching a P, an I, and an O concept. In PubMed, a very quick way to conduct this search would be to take those three concepts and enter search words. Those encompass the three main concepts of the PICO question. This is a very simple way to conduct a search, and you can then apply filters. You can also look at the search details box on the right, and we see that MMR vaccine did map appropriately to measles, mumps, rubella vaccine. Anytime you're conducting a database search, you can always do some exploring to find terminology that might get you better results. This is just an example of the way that I think about a PICO question. The left-hand column displays the main concepts. In the center column, I would look to see if there are medical subject headings that are appropriate to use for those terms that might strengthen the search. And then finally, in the right-hand column, I would write down, after some experimentation, what I would decide to search in the database, whether it be a keyword or a mesh term or a combination of both. For the first concept in the question, infants, I checked the MeSH database and found that there are terms for infant and child. I decided first to conduct my search based on the I and the O concepts of the question to see the results and then ultimately to limit the results by using the filters if necessary. For the second concept, I found that there are MeSH headings for both vaccines or for the MMR vaccine and there are also good subheadings available. Ultimately, I've decided to search for vaccines and use the subheading adverse effects or, to broaden the term, I also want to look at the MMR vaccine. Let's take a look at how you identify those subject headings. In PubMed, to get back to the initial screen, click the logo. Under More Resources, click Mesh Database. Here, if we enter MMR vaccine, we see that there is a MeSH heading available for that term. I've decided instead to search simply for the keyword MMR vaccine after seeing that the search details box already mapped it appropriately to this MeSH heading. However, the other term that I want to look at specifically is vaccines and the adverse effects of vaccines. So to add this to our search, we click Adverse Effects, Add to Search Builder, and search PubMed. In PubMed, we see the search results for vaccines and adverse effects. I'm going to manually type in or MMR vaccine and click search again. Again, there is no comparison in this question. The outcome is causing autism. The MeSH database shows that there is a MeSH term for autistic disorder, which you can apply the subheading etiology for. Ultimately, I've decided instead to search for autism or autistic disorder so that I can catch the keyword and also a map to any autistic disorder. Back in PubMed, we still have our first search terms in the search bar. Anytime you click on Advanced, you will see in your history that PubMed is capturing everything that you've already searched. So what we'll do in the end is combine the appropriate lines to ultimately build a search. I will click back to PubMed Home and enter Autism or Autistic Disorder. Now we have the results for this broadened term that searches either or. And returning into the Advanced Search Builder, what we can do now is take the intervention, which was the adverse effects of vaccines. Well, adverse effects isn't an in intervention, but we're looking at vaccines very specifically with their adverse effects as a MeSH term. And remember, the MeSH terms will not retrieve the most recently published articles, which is another reason why I want to search MMR vaccine as well. So we'll get either or. By clicking Add, it pops it into the first box. And so again, we are searching for the I concept of the PICO question and 
the outcome in the PICO question, which was the autism. So we can click Add. And then in the end, if necessary, we could apply the filter for infants or children. Let's take a look at the search results. There are 564 search results. After searching for the I and the O concept, you also want to think about what is the best kind of evidence? Are there specific articles or studies that you would like to target in your search results? And so consider your PICO question in the domain. This particular question is an etiology question. For etiology questions, the strongest evidence as far as study design is a case control study, cohort study, or a case series. Remember that a meta-analysis or systematic review is another very strong source of evidence as long as it is synthesizing the results of multiple studies that are also best suited for your etiology question. To add the study design to the search, we can add our previously built search to the top with add and type in the study designs under consideration using OR and leave AND connected on the left. Always when you build your final search, leave the AND on the left. And let's see the results. Again, if you chose to, you could apply the infant filter on the left. There are many, many ways to approach any search, and as I've said, no two people will likely approach it exactly the same way. You will use different terms. Some of you may or may not use mesh terms. It may be combined differently, and that's okay. The key is really to experiment and see what works best for any particular question.